Hey, hi everyone. In this session, we will discuss how to print star patterns. Yes, this is very common question in the interviews. Like whenever you appear for an interview, they will ask you how to print star patterns. So there could be several kinds of patterns which they might ask. This is one of the pattern. Like on first line, you have to print one star. On second line you have to print two star on third line you have to press three star on fourth four star on fifth five stars so this is the pattern right one two three four five and in this example I have taken five rows I would say but this could be any number of rows it could be 10 it could be 15 it could be 3 right all right so how to solve this problem what should be the approach right so whenever you are presented with this kind of problem so how to think about it before writing any solution all right now as you can see we have different lines right so which means we can call it rows right and same way we have these vertical line if we consider right so these can act as column okay and if you see these patterns like printing of stars is getting repeated and in programming when things are repeating which means we have to use loops right which means to solve this problem we can use for loop and how to apply for loop that's where the solution of the problem will appear in general as a thumb rule you should consider that okay if we have to print a star pattern in this fashion right where you will have different rows and different number of stars in the column which means you have to apply for loop right and mostly you will have to use two for loops right now i know okay a star patterns problem can be solved using for loops and in these kind of patterns i can use two for loops one will be for iterating the number of rows and the second inner for loop will be to print these stars all right so now I'll walk through you the solution. I have already written the solution for you just to save the time. As you could see, it's a pretty simple solution. Few lines of code, right? As I was saying earlier, we have to use two for loops, right? So this is for loop, outer for loop, integer i, and there's another for loop, integer j. And inside inner for loop, I am printing asterisk or star. And as you can see on line number 23, I am using system dot out dot print ln simple. This is mainly for line change after every i counter increment. Okay, so. I'll go step by step how this program works and then we'll see the execution and we'll see we will see the output results as well just be with me it is very easy to understand so as I said in the beginning we have to use two for loops so the outer for loop the first for loop is always for number of rows I counted okay this is one two three four five which means I have to take i is equal to 1, i is less than equal to 5, i plus plus. Which means my this for loop with integer i will execute 5 times, right? For sure. And the problem, main problem was, okay, for every row iteration, you have to print different counts of number of stars, right? So, as you can see on first row I have to print one star 
on second row I have to print two star which means I have to insert some logic in inner for loop so that inner for loop works one time when i is one inner for loop should work two times when i is equal to two inner for loop work should work three times when i is three and so on when i say inner for loop should work work means this command whatever we have written inside for loop all right so that's why i have used j is less than equal to i right because there is a direct correlation when row is 1 i am printing 1 star when row is 2 i am printing 2 star when row is 3 i am printing 3 star so this correlation in the pattern you have to find with respect to the rows and there is simple like if i is 1 i am gonna print j less than equal to i only okay so i'll so show you the execution how this program gonna work so i will right click run star pattern one star pattern one is the name of the class which i have given we'll see the output and i will explain one more time how this pattern is getting printed as you can see in the console the output we got one star two star three star four star and five star right so this is a simple pattern which which we are able to print now to further understand let's try to comment this line and compare the output right if i come if i print if i comment this line print ln now we will come to know the importance of this line if I execute this program again, let's see what kind of output we will get. As you can see, we got the output in one line, right? Although first time one star is printed, second time two star is printed, third time three star is printed, but we we got all the stars in one line, right? But this was not our original problem. Original problem was we have to print line by line one star two star so that's why after every row which means once inner for loop is completed and outer for loop is about to start we have to print we have to do line change print ln right and i have again uncommented this and now let's see the execution this point i'm telling specifically because as you can see we are able to print but yeah i was saying like this point i'm explaining uh, specifically system dot or dot print telling because during interviews the candidate they forget this they use two for loops right outer for loop inner for loop right and inside inner for loop they print a star and mostly they forget this and that's where uh, interviewer they catch them okay how this is incorrect solution some kind of discussion happens after that so I want to make sure you guys don't forget this you have to use system dot auto print in which line change has to be there and as you can notice I'm using system dot out dot print here I'm not using print ln otherwise you you will get vertical printing of these stars that we don't want so in one case we saw horizontal printing if we use print ln over here we will get vertical printing that we don't want that's why i have used print statement only not print ln make sure all right and this is the main crux of the solution right j is less than equal to i which means when i is one my inner loop uh, my inner loop will execute one time why why one time because i'm starting with j is equal to one and if j is less than equal to i which means j is less than equal to one it is true this line will be executed next time 
j plus plus will happen j will become 2 2 is less than equal to 1 it's not possible which means this will be executed only once same way in another iteration i will increment which means we will be on row number 2 which means i is equal to 2 right let's see if i is equal to 2 how many times this inner for loop works so this is 2 i is 2 j will start from 1 1 is less than less than equal to 2 yes it will be printed next time j will increase j will become 1 from uh, the j will become 2 from 1 2 is less than equal to 2 yes it's true because we have taken i is equal to 2 and this will be printed next time j will become 3 and 3 is less than equal to 2 no false which means this will this won't be executed so that's why this variable j is dependent on i j is less than equal to i so that's how we solve this these kind of problems so you have to just think that okay how we can correlate inner for loop with the outer for loop an outer for loop is always for number of rows inner for loop is always for printing all right i hope you got the solution and if you practice one time two times three times uh, without looking at this solution so i i'm pretty sure and i'm confident you will be able to solve this problem without any help so now your your next section should be open your editor remember this pattern and try to program and try to write the solution you you might make one mistake two mistake but after a practice you will be able to print this pattern right and you will start thinking how we can solve these kind of problems so all the best and keep learning thank you